What's up, guys? Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7. Check out this, the brand new one from Toyan. This is a Boxster engine. What you see in a VW or a Porsche. Awesome. Brand spanker. Links are down below. Like always, if you want to go buy from there, it helps the channel out a little bit uh, at no cost to you. So thank you very much if you do go through there. This is so you get uh, a kit version or the pre built version. I have the pre built version here. And you can also get it in the ready to run package. So it's pre built for you to go and it comes with a starter kit, your fuel tank, fuel tubing, two into one or however you want to say, one into two uh, fuel nipple there and four glow plugs. But uh, here's the box here, I'm not going to go too much through it. It's a, it's a box, it's black. There we go, let's quickly go through it. I want to try and get it running in this video as well. So the name for this is the FSB400A. Pretty sweet little motor. Awesome if you ever need to kind of go back on it and uh, check out how to put it all together, but it is really nice. It's air cooled as well. A few little specs here. Apparently, it's got two horsepower, 3.5 cc times four. It's the four cylinder, and it's got an RPM range from two and a half to 12,000 RPM, weighing at 1.8 kilos and a bore of 16.8 millimeters. There you go. Pause that there if you want to for all your reading pleasures. If you want to go check that out, let's have a quick look here. Now this is really cool. Check out this. This weighs nothing. This is the muffler. I, I do believe it's 3D printed. Really nice, as you can see. And along with that, the headers as well are 3D printed. How cool is that? So, nicely done there. Thank you very much, Toyan. Let's have a look what else you get in the box. You get a tool kit here for ants. Little one there. Some uh, little O-rings there for the exhaust. Some screws to obviously screw the head headers onto the block itself. Oh, <laughs> looks sick. Check out this. Wow. Nothing else in there. Wow, look at that. That looks really, really nice. Dual carbs. One carb per for uh, two cylinders, one on each side, obviously. So it's a four cylinder. Look at that, it's even got a, it's got its own fan to keep it all cool. You don't need a radiator for this, which is really nice. It's going to keep everything else cool, just like the real thing, I do believe. Looks good. And uh, what I also noticed, I saw on Double Deuce, Dennis's video, go check him out. He also mentioned a lot of these things as well. That new and improved, the actual starter motor is at the bottom, but it is has its tensioner, which is great. God knows how many of these belts I've uh, shredded the teeth because um, it's just it's kind of one it's on on or off you can't you can't adjust it at all so if it's too tight or too loose if something goes wrong when something moves it just strips it and uh, you know it can't be fixed but there we go there so in, uh, there's your two cylinders you, you screw your exhaust uh, headers just on there like that looks good. Single bar here, it's going to adjust the carbs there. And I do believe, yeah, that look really cool. I don't know if you can see inside them, they look great, but I'm not going to touch it all. I just want to leave as is, and uh, we'll see how it runs. But if you look at the front of the engine, as you can see, fan driven, it's got this nice cover that's obviously going to help direct the air directly on to the cylinder, as you can see. So it's going to Getting in there, forcing it, and putting on top of that block to keep those cylinder heads nice and cool, and then check the operating temperatures, which I'm sure will be quite hot with these little nitro engines. They run do uh, do run quite hot. I'm not too sure the nitro specs that it says, but I do have some 25 uh, percent nitro. We'll, we'll pump into this uh, bad boy, and underneath this cover as well is the timing chain as well. So that's all hidden, and I do believe there is a tensioner kind of hidden up there as well. Um, not too much else to show you, apart from I want to hear it. There's no, you have to drill out a, uh, a threaded, uh, what is it, threaded flywheel here, you're going to put a clutch on here. So imagine this in like a, a scale Porsche or a VW. That'd be really, really cool. But uh, enough jibber jabbing. Let me get everything plugged up and uh, let's see how it runs. Well, <laughs> I was trying to start it. But the fuel, I think, is off. It just didn't want to cooperate. And it, uh, yeah, burnt out. My LiPo, pretty much, I think it's 
it was 25% but it's it's old so it didn't want to work but come have a look first closer inspection how it looks I'll do another video obviously but as you can see here's the muffler how cool does it look so you've got the muffler the headers they're all 3d printed nice and uh, light as well but looks good doesn't it definitely I like it so it does sound well it was really quiet and I uh, can't wait to kind of get it running but yeah I do believe the the field is a little bit old so next video we'll get some nice fresh 30% because that's what it recommends um, and we'll get it going As you can see everything's connected it's really easy to hook up you just need a, the earth just there and that is it don't worry about my uh, chunky uh, why is there it's all good there we go but yeah let me know what you think links are down below go check it out and uh, we should get this going really soon cheers guys